اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الذین یذکرون اللہ قیاما و قعودا و علی جنوبہم و یتفکرون فی خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت حاضا باطلا سبحانك فکن عذاب النار Those who remember Allah while standing, sitting and lying, uh, lying on their sides and ponder over the creation of, uh, uh, of the heavens and the earth, our Lord, Thou hast not created them in vain, nay, holy art Thou, save us then from the punishment of the fire. What is the relation between the creation of the heaven and the earth and فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ Save us from the punishment of the fire. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الذین یذکرون اللہ قیاما و قعودا و علی جنوبہم و یتفکرون فی خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت حاضا باطلا سبحانک فکن عذاب النار What is the question? I can't understand this. The question is what's the relation between the creation of the heaven and earth? And to the previous verse. Yes, I know, but the creation of the heaven and the earth is a use, not a useless purpose. It's a huge claim that uh, whatever you find in the creation of heaven and the earth, the whole universe, you think it's uh, created idly without any use? This is the question. So those people who are ulil al-bab, they ponder over these things day and night and uh, the natural result, inference they draw from their heart speaks to us, speaks and says, ma khalaq, oh by God, ma khalaq ta'ala batala. This entire universe you have created how can it be without any purpose? So everything which is created has a purpose and shows a purpose. The birds, the animals, everything in the sea or in the air or on the land has a purpose of its creation which it fulfills and is made to fulfill that purpose. So this is amazing. When I go for a walk, I hear the woodpecker sound, and this is the subject which I have repeatedly told to, to uh, 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 explain to others. Woodpecker is a small bird which uh, pecks at the tree trunks which are a bit hollow from within and then the worms which are in that tree trunk they come out and this bird swallows them by knocking at the door if somebody comes out they eat it so the amazing thing the most fantastic thing about this animal is that it strikes the wood so powerfully and with such speed that it's amazing how fast it can move its uh, beak and strike with it. Now the scientists have discovered that although ordinary, ordinarily hearing this sound you think it may be consists of four or five strikes but when they recorded it and then reheard it in slow motion, so within a second, perhaps it stuck 30 times or so. So I don't know exactly the number, but the number is amazing how fast it can move and how powerfully it strikes. Now, if this was without purpose and without a design this bird should have gone mad within a few strikes because the shock is so powerful 
that uh, it would create a sense of earthquake in the head, in the brain of that, that poor animal. But God has provided him, or this bird, with uh, a safety valve between the beak and the brain. There is a small instrument which can be pressed and released. It is resilient. So at the time of every strike, it takes all the load on itself. And no shock wave is permitted to pass on to the brain. Now, do you think this could automatically happen because of evolution? It's impossible. How long this device would take for evolving? By that time, all the woodpeckers in the entire world would have died, completely finished and ousted. So, these people who have uh, researched on these things, unfortunately are blind in their right eye. This is what they observe with the left eye and tell us, this is it. They never think that ma khalakta hada batala. So this is one small explanation of the word ma khalakta hada batala. And whenever you go out, you'll hear amazing things the birds are chuckling and making noises and all this. But how was this created, this sound box in their throat? Why? And it has a definite design about it, a purpose and so on. So it's a limitless subject. Just take this first, bring this first to the focus of your attention and it will go on opening new windows for you to observe the glory of God.